Taylor. And it all comes down to having the proper supplies so that first responders can carry out the procedures in place to keep people safe. I'm going to be sitting down with Renee in an hour or two to uh, talk about what we should be doing, but I can't wait for the feds to act on this. Governor Lamont is expected to address the state on his administration's plans for tackling a potential coronavirus outbreak. Connecticut's going to take the lead. The Connecticut Emergency Management Association calling on the governor to tap into federal resources for supplies. We have credible information that municipalities are having difficulty ordering supplies and that manufacturers in the United States are not receiving them from their counterparts in foreign countries. Supplies like gloves, masks, gowns, Tyvek suits and biocells, which go inside an ambulance to ensure a potentially infected person doesn't infect first responders and contaminate the ambulance. All of our major health care providers, the hospitals, the doctors, making sure we have the protocols in place so people can feel confident we're doing everything we can to keep them safe. The Connecticut Association of Boards of Education saying they're ready for whatever comes their way. A lot of it has to do with prevention and trying to make sure that our schools remain safe and healthy places for our students and the staff. While there are emergency plans available, the governor says he doesn't foresee having to close schools. I heard the warning coming from the Trump administration, so we're going to be laying out a strategy if that ever became a need. I don't see that coming. Now, Governor Lamont sat down with the commissioner of the Department of Public Health, Dr. Renee Coleman Mitchell. He's expected to address the state about their conversation and the state's plans moving forward in the next half hour. We'll bring it to you live on our air. Taylor DiCello, Fox 61 News. All right, Taylor.